welcome let's look at this question number 11 for jam past questions physics 2018 the question goes what type of reaction is represented by the following scheme we have nuclear x superscript 2 subscript 1 plus nucleus y superscript 2 subscript 1 to form nucleus z with superscript 3 subscript 2 plus a neutron superscript 1 subscript 0 plus energy the options are a fission reaction b fission reaction c chain reaction d radioactive decay so how do we go about solving this now for us to be able to handle this well we have to note that there are two types of radioactivity or two type of radioactive reaction and those two types are one we have what to call nucleus nuclear fission and number two we have what to call nuclear fusion see the two names fission and fusion so whenever you hear nuclear fission you are talking about the splitting break up splitting up of one heavy nucleus so when you have one heavy nucleus breaking up to form lighter ones to form a lighter or to form lighter nucleus two lighter nucleus maybe of equal parts or you can say it is also the splitting into two approximately equal parts or two equal approximately equal nucleus and this breaking is actually with uh, the release of huge amount of energy with the release of huge amount of energy and neutrons so when this happens we say that we have nuclear fission whenever you have uh, a big nucleus splitting together into smaller ones with the release of energy we call it nuclear fission but nuclear fusion is the fusing together the coming together of lighter nuclei so when you have two light nuclei coming together that are smaller smaller nuclei we call it nuclear fusion so when they are coming together we call it fusion when they are breaking up we call it fission so when a uh, smaller ones come together to form a heavier heavier nucleus we call it nuclear fusion and this also happens with the release of energy so whenever there is radioactivity there is always release of great amount of energy so this happen with the release of great large amount of large amount of energy very very important so we have either we have nuclear fission or nuclear fusion so here when you see fusion reaction it's also simply mean nuclear fission and when you see fission reaction it means nuclear fission so which of these explains this you will see that when you look at this nuclei this is two and here is two but they, they form three so you have smaller ones coming together to form big one with energy here is one and here is one and here we have two so we have this and this combining to form this so you can say that this is actually nuclear fusion fusion because they are coming together to form a bigger one so anytime you want to study this place you have to take note of the you look at the the nucleus that you have on the other side on the reactant side if they are smaller like the case we have here these ones are smaller we have two and we have two but here we have three so we have smaller ones forming bigger one with the release of energy so we call it nuclear fusion and that's why option a is the right answer if they are breaking down and even this one is has having like one or half is lesser then it will be fission 
But when they are coming together to form a bigger something with the release of energy, we call it nuclear fusion. So nuclear fusion or you call it fusion reaction, that is the answer. Thank you.